here with Dan from Peter's Meats. Uh, we're going to go through the basic wash down and clean down of the atmosphere Forte Blue in a, uh, in a better meat processing plant. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a free swab with the protein swab just to get a basic uh, what the protein levels are. And then after the clean, then we're going to do a, uh, another protein swab just to see the cleanliness from the product that's used. Um, I'll pass the time over to Dan, he'll tell you basically what's going to sort of happen with the process. Well, first of all, we, we do a general uh, clean up of any rubbish and any um, loose, loose particles of meat. We then do a provisional scrub down and clean, followed by a foam with the blue foaming agent. We leave that sit for a little while, give it a good scrub down in a, in a hot hose. We then come over with the sanitizer afterwards. Um, pretty much fine, that's the best way for us. And, uh, give the, the blue product the best time to work, actually lifts all the grease and dirt and uh, makes it so much easier to clean. This is actually a tub we've used today and we're stored outside in the sun for at least an hour. So I'll give you a quick swab on this just to see the bacteria levels on it. So to me that's starting to go a touch purple. So that has a lot more um, proteins in this tub for being sitting outside rather than in my uh, refrigerated uh, working space. So what we'll do now is we'll give this uh, a good foam. So it makes it a whole lot easier, a lot quicker and safer on the wood. It does, uh, you know, it actually cuts down my wages, it cuts down everything. Um, we don't have to employ professional cleaners. Yeah. This, uh, we have the one product that does everything. Excellent. What I've done here is I've dated the, uh, the swab test to show that it's a post tub swab. So I'll hand it over to Dan now and he can go through the test. I'm going to have a look at any changes. As you can see straight away the green colour has come straight there. So it's gone automatically from a purple colour straight to a, a green colour with minimal physical work. Yeah. And that saves me time, it saves me money, it saves me a lot of things. So the normal procedures for these areas will be to leave it off between 10 and 20 minutes yeah. just to sort of break down the protein on yeah. it and the blood but also to get a really good kill rate on the blood. That's right, that's and right. And, and I find with leaving it on that 15 to 20 minutes you haven't got that toxic smell in the air so it's quite yeah. pleasant to work with. Oh, fantastic. All right, well, how about we go to a, we'll do a swap? Just touch a base back on the provisional clean. We do a general clean of any loose stuff. And then get a couple of scrapers. Give the bench a nice clean. Get any surface off. You can see, it's got a slight green colour in it. So you know what that's telling me there, Dan? It's telling me that the protein levels on there are pretty good based on the product that you're currently using. Well, we do, we, we do wash down every single day yeah. with, with your product and I find we do get most bacteria. Um, what we do afterwards too, if you have your, your special sizable rings to put in your nozzles, which actually dilutes your parts a little bit more and it can become a leave-on sanitizer overnight, which is not harmful yeah. to any human being or anything else in the world. Alright, so uh, Dan's going to be able to use the uh, the atmosphere blue as well, and this is their standard foam down of all the mats, the floors, the walls, and all the equipment. Uh, so standing, yep, standing procedure as we did before. Yep. We've done our provisional clean with all of our scraping and we're picking up of all the heavy, heavy gunk. Yep. So now we'll go over everything with, with the foam blue, and uh, we'll just show you how it works. It's good to know too that they're using cold water. Yep. They're not using the hot water, and they're still getting the results that they need on the surface areas and on the equipment. So we'll start now, we'll start again, we'll leave some of the material. Let me get out of your way. I still have not used one scrubbing brush. So now I'm going to demonstrate after we've foamed down. We've left it sit for 10 minutes. We've actually got a hot water hose here now. It's going to come out cold at first. Then it's going to turn on, but we just want to show you what it does without a scrub. As you can see, first hit of cold water, that normally doesn't come off. So, you're actually taking all that off now. You get a little bit of hot water through here now, you'll see the real results. You get the hot water on it, mate, it's gone straight away. Now guys, before you created this product, yes. did you actually go in to watch the hot water clean down? Uh, yes, we did. Um, so, was it as efficient and as quick as that? Well, no, to me it looked like it went, you had to leave it on there a little bit longer, but the cleaners were always a bit worried about leaving it on too long. 
because of what it does to the surface area. Yep. Um, not only because it corrodes them, but they tend to become quite slippery as well. It does. And then you still get them harmful gases all the way through. Yeah, correct, correct. So what you're saying is, is as well, is that because it's a lot of hydrocarbonated product, yep. there's no gas, there's no fuse. So well, in 20, 20 time is lost based on a lot quicker. And also, my, my, my life on my machinery, yeah. I, I get years more life out of it because I'm not corroding any part of it. Yeah. It's just straight clean now. So, all I can say about our Mr. Friend here Blue, I call him Magic Blue because he makes my life so much easier. <laughs> Keeps my pocket a bit fatter. Yeah. Um, mate, I would recommend this to anyone in the world.